Welcome back to Arise America. I'm Charles Anyakolu. Now, the ongoing debate about immigration in the United States is causing ugly exchanges at the very local level. A Manhattan lawyer is now getting lots of heat because of this viral video. He got upset because employees at the Fresh Kitchen restaurant were speaking Spanish instead of English. Now, when a manager intervened, he threatened to call ICE, the immigration authorities. I need to be able to hear them. I pay for their welfare. Yeah. I pay for their ability to be here. The least, the yeah. least they can do, yeah. the least they can yeah. do is speak English. Their welfare? Yes. Well, instead of calling in the authorities, the lawyer, whose name was Aaron Schlossberg, found himself the target of a lot of online rage. The firm where he works is now getting trolled with bad reviews. Schlossberg is registered as a Republican and is a Trump donor. Well, in New York, Carl Lipscomb is the deputy director of the Black Alliance for Just Immigration. He joins us now. Uh, Carl, what's your reaction to this video in cosmopolitan New York City? First, thanks so much for having me, Charles. Um, I'm absolutely disgusted. Um, as an attorney myself, um, we, we as lawyers are held to the utmost highest standard. And um, this really, um, you know, begs the question, um, you know, how is he as a lawyer? How is he able to represent clients? Um, I'm, just, I'm just really disgusted. Right. And, and should we even be surprised when President Trump has been accused of using language that is just as insensitive? I mean, he, he just reportedly referred to certain immigrants as animals. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, again, I'm disgusted. I'm not surprised that there are people out there with those types of disgusting views, um, like Mr. Schlossberg and the president. Um, but I'm grateful that, uh, that New Yorkers, that Americans are standing up um, to, to Mr. Schlossberg and sending messages to his law firm. Um, I just read that uh, the, the Bronx uh, borough president um, and a couple of elected officials here in New York um, are filing suit against him and um, recommending that uh, Mr. Schlossberg be disbarred. Um, and so I'm grateful that there are people standing up um, to, to just people that appear evil like him. Well, you will forgive me if I play the devil's advocate here, but Mr. Trump says he was calling violent gang members from Latin America animals. I mean, does he have a right to use this language or is it dangerous? That language is definitely dangerous. Um, you know, we at the Black Alliance for Just Immigration believe that all immigrants deserve to be treated with dignity and respect um, and to just have their, their rights upheld. Um, when Mr. Trump uses rhetoric like that, that just flies in the face of all of, all of our values, um, both here in the U.S., but just what, what, are, you know, what are really universal values. Um, again, I'm not surprised that um, President Trump uses this language because he's used this language all along. He launched his presidential campaign um, by calling certain immigrants rapists. But it's, it's really unacceptable. And I'm glad that immigrants, um, that, uh, you know, that, um, that, a, that a new generation of people are, being, are becoming politically active and showing President Trump that this, this rhetoric and the way that he treats immigrants um, is indeed unacceptable. Well, Carl, your organization, Baji, is following another story. I mean, there is some local reporting that Mr. Trump asked for negative information about Haitian immigrants in the U.S. I mean, what's the story there? Yes, yeah, so from what we're hearing, a couple of our partner organizations, the National Immigration Project and NYU, um, sought a FOIA request asking um, the federal government for information that it used to determine its decision on whether or not to renew a special immigration program for Haitians. And they discovered that uh, at the time, um, the, the person that's, that oversees this program sought out information on um, the number of Haitians with criminal records, the number of Haitians that receive public benefit benefits, and other in information that's really inappropriate 
and um, is unprecedented. Um, the program that, um, that they are considering renewing is a humanitarian program for individuals escaping natural disasters, such as the 2010 Haiti earthquake and more recently Hurricane Matthew. And no president has ever looked at the backgrounds um, of those individuals um, that, that are eligible and that benefit from this program. And this is really just a, a one way that Haitian immigrants and all black immigrants are criminalized by the U.S. immigration system. So, so what is your organization planning to do in response to these allegations, briefly? Yes, yeah, so when we first heard about this, um, we, you know, we did a lot of media outreach. We met with um, elect other elected officials um, to urge them to push back against the Trump administration. Um, and we organized our members to call um, the Department of Homeland Security and ICE out for, you know, for this um, egregious behavior on their part. Briefly, um, you know, uh, Carl, th th another immigration story surfaced this week. The president is apparently proposing separating immigrant parents from their children and housing the children on U.S. military bases. I mean, am I understanding this correctly? Can he legally do this? So your, your understanding is correct. And the, you know, there's nothing in the law that says he can do this explicitly. But the federal government can always choose to arrest parents and not, ch and, you know, while not arresting children. And this is actually something that ICE does all the time. They arrest parents and leave the children behind. And then there's a, you know, for any parent, the being separated from their child is um, their worst nightmare. And so this is something that um, the president has announced that he's going to continue to do. We don't know how this is going to look um, right now. But again, this is just another instance of egregious behavior by this administration. And I can tell you that we at Baji and our partners are not going to stand for it. We're going to fight the president tooth and nail on this. Carl Lipscomb in New York. Thank you very much indeed. Now, later